Hey y'all. Been a while. Figured I'd do a a reading on a message for the collective since I've been going through my own little dark night of the soul. It's been a little while. So let's see. Message for the collective. I am using the Heal Yourself reading cards and the energy oracle cards. So let's see what we got here. I don't make these fucking cards for people with little hands. My table's a little messy, but here we go. All right. We got bottom of the deck, victim consciousness with door to romance. I'll read that last. And we have hole in a soul with angel of strength and healing with anxiety. So the message to the collective. We have hole in the soul. I think a lot of people are going through a dark night of the soul, are going through energetic changes, are going through purges, and they are realizing what is missing from themselves, which, to be honest, I've had to realize within myself I wasn't accepting certain things. I wasn't integrating certain things. So I can understand this this energy here. And it it's not necessarily bad. It's just with the angel of strength, you have to realize what's missing within you. You have to pull yourself out of the hole <laughs> trust me i've been in my own fucking hole for the past week and i think for the free readings i haven't been able to do because i've been in a hole and i can't do readings when i'm in that kind of energy so i'm sure many people will understand that that you have to have the strength to pull yourself out of the hole because you're already whole in what you are it's just what you're feeling what's coming up for you you feel a lack but you are not lacking you have to find the strength to heal that hole that you feel is within you and it also comes with integrating the darkness with the light because we both have dark and light. We both have masculine and feminine. We need to integrate that. We do not need to black out any of that energy. We need to accept what is coming up for us, accept our feelings, integrate what is happening, and have strength in that, that nothing is wrong with you. 
that you're going through something, that's okay. You're allowed to. You just need to feel it. You're never going to heal it if you don't feel it. And then we have healing with anxiety. Now, it's been really hard for me to heal lately. Because I've been going through so much. I've been integrating so much. I've been feeling both parts of myself. And part of me doesn't want to accept the opposing energies within me. But you have to. And that causes anxiety because you don't want to accept certain parts of yourself. So the only way you're going to heal is to accept it. Don't allow yourself to ignore it, to fret over it. The only way you're going to heal is to feel. And you need to go through this. You need to purge it. You need to feel it. You need to experience whatever is coming up within you to heal it, to feel the light within you. Because she's surrounded by darkness. And then she has this light. And it's like both are a part of her. And then you have anxiety over the darkness that surrounds you, but both are a part of you. Like you can't ignore everything that's around you and only focus on one certain aspect, which most spiritual gurus want you to believe that you can only have the light. No. I have figured out that I'm a dual being. I have both dark and light within me. So everybody has dark and light within them. So don't have anxiety over that. Accept it because it's a part of you. It's a part of you for a reason. Don't ignore any part of you. Do not try to cut a part of you out like they say ego death. You need the ego. That is born out of survival. You have it for a reason. So, the only way you're going to heal is to accept these darker aspects within yourself and have the strength within yourself to actually do the work. And then we have bottom of the deck, main energy, which is victim consciousness with door to romance. Now... I've been feeling this. I've had terrible experiences within my love life, and it's been hard for me to get over it. And every experience you have is a lesson and teaches you. So you cannot feel that those experiences just make you a victim. Those experiences are teaching you something. Now this is specific to love, but it doesn't have to be. Hey, what's up, yo? Just doing a live. You can kind of join kind of late, but um, you have to accept that the relationships that you have had are teaching you something about yourself. You have to go through the purging and the healing and the acceptance and the dark night of the soul around certain relationships. It has been very hard for me to do. Trust me, I understand this. But this doesn't have to be just romantic relationships. This can just be relationships that you love somebody very much and they hurt you and you feel victimized by them. But you do not have to stay the victim. You can heal that. You have to accept what has happened to you and not continue to be the victim of what has happened to you. Be strong. Don't fret over it. 
heal it, feel it, no matter what relationships it was, because I've had plenty that have broken my heart, and I have wanted to cage my heart up and, you know, not want to accept any new relationship, no matter what it was, friendship, love interest, whatever. I've just wanted to bottle it all up and not let anybody in. But because of my past pains, I've played the victim. So you have to stop doing that. You have to get out of holding yourself up, and you have to accept what has happened to you, go into healing, accept the darkness around you, do not, I mean, I know it's hard, yes, it causes anxiety, but you have to feel those feelings, don't cage it up, don't Pile it down to where you're you're not feeling it. Don't use, you know, substances. Sorry, my camera isn't really focusing right. But don't, you know, use drugs, drinking, you know, eating, whatever makes you want to ignore what is happening to you and continue playing the victim. Sorry, this is so blurry, like tapping my phone's not making it focus, but, um, accept everything that is within you. Accept what has happened to you. Feel it. Because if you don't feel what has happened to you, and you just cage it up and black yourself off to everything, you're always going to have that hole. You're always going to feel like a fucking victim. You have to have the strength to heal it. Accept every part of yourself. Go through all of these emotions. And don't block them off. You may have been victimized. You may have had very fucked up things happen to you. But you have to accept them. And I know forgiveness is a very hard thing to do. And it is for you alone. It is not for the other person or people. It is for you. And do it when you're ready. And when you're ready, this this wound in your heart will begin to heal. You'll have more strength to feel things and not want to cage yourself up. So, that's what I got. All right, I love you guys. I see, you know, do the work training. You know, I've been in my own hole for a little while, so I will do your reading soon. So, don't worry about that. I've just been healing myself. So, all right. Love you guys. Have a good one.